Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 2 of Skill Into Glory Season 2. And as you may know, I've started off this series again. And if you missed out the introduction video, which I actually uploaded yesterday, then be sure to check it out. You guys gave some awesome support, so I want to thank you guys for that as well. And if you do enjoy this video as well, then be sure to leave a like, would be very much appreciated. So, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys the team and also, of course, some gameplay. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. And uh, right now you can actually see the challenges. I already covered them in the, in the previous episode, so I'm not really going over them deeply. But... Uh, um, yeah, those are the challenges we have to complete at this time with Mastur. Anyway, this is the team I decided to go with. It is in the false nine formation. And uh, in goal, we have uh, Carrizo, the goalkeeper from Inter. Very solid silver goalkeeper, actually. He has some really nice stats. Then as the first centre-back, we have Kahneman from Atlas, I think, from the Mexican League. Looks pretty awesome. Alongside him, we have Goltz, also placed in the same league, so he gets that strong link. On the right-hand side, we have Bellerin. Would have loved to go with his inform, but he's pretty expensive. Uh, Left-back, we have Sissoko. Then as a centre-defensive mid, we have Zuccolini from Manchester City. We have got Obiang, two very defensive players. And then more of a skillful player, I guess, on the midfield is Zogbia, who has great free kick stats as well. Right-winger, we have uh, Williams, the inform version, who looks ridiculous. Probably one of the best silver players this year. And then as a centre forward, we have got the main man of the squad, of course, Hachim Mastur, the five-star skiller. Already played 22 games with him, got eight goals, which is not really the greatest, but hopefully he can do well in this team. And uh, to give him full chemistry, we have uh, his uh, Moroccan teammate, that is uh, Tika Dawini, who actually should have five-star skills as well, in my opinion. But uh, unfortunately, he only has four stars. But anyway, that's pretty much a team. If you're interested in the team and stuff, in the price, then there will be a link in the description down below. Anyway, we're going to be moving on in what will be the first game of this series and also, of course, of the episode. And uh, we come up against a full silver team, a uh, hybrid with some uh, players from the second Bundesliga, Norwegian League, and also the Danish League, I do believe. Uh, some pretty good players. And it was us starting off after six minutes with Zogbia. He has four star skill moves. We pulled off some skill moves. We played it on through to Zuccolini. He played a beautiful pass to Mastur. Goes one on one with the goalkeeper, and he finished it off already. And we got the first goal with him. A nice shot with his weak foot, actually, uh, giving us a lead in this game. Now we move on in the 26th minute. There's my opponent on the ball there, getting himself a chance as well. Not really the greatest defending on my side. Then he tries to cut in he actually does get a shot on goal but my goalkeeper made a great save there and that is pretty much how the first half and it's not really the most spectacular one we had a lot of possession but that was about it I think chances wise it was really really even and that is also I think why it wasn't really that exciting uh, second half we started for the shot with Nzogobi I just went wide the post uh, as I mentioned he has really good free kick stats and some pretty good long shots as well actually scored one when I was testing out this squad so uh, hopefully we can score one soon as well with him but anyway as you can see in the second half we managed to get a really nice goal with Inaki Williams making it 2-0 and also picking up the first skill goal then uh, we continue on with Mastur shortly after that he goes with some great skill was there we beat two defenders with a nice roulette we go for a shot a good save there from his goalkeeper and then from the rebound it is Bellerin actually making it 3-0 already and uh, giving us a more comfortable lead of course and at this point I thought it was going to be game over because we were sort of dominating against this guy uh, it was actually a subscriber by the way which was fun as well just the first game already come against a subscriber and as you can see in the second half we also would end up creating a lot of chances pretty much after we are 3-0 up probably should have been 4-0 there but uh, some great saves there from his goalkeeper then uh, we continue on the 70th minute it is on Zog beyond the ball who plays it on through to Mastur I was trying to go for a second goal of the game but again his goalkeeper was there with a good save then 77 minute a really nice free kick for my opponent a really nice save for my goalkeeper as well and kind of from that minute onwards my opponent decided to kind of play a little bit better because that's at least what I felt you can see right there he managed to get himself a goal back a pretty nice one with his left back actually a nice direct back and a nice near post shot as well it was also a little bit laggy on my side I don't really know what it is you can maybe see a little bit from the gameplay I'm not going to blame that but that is also kind of why I kind of lost the grip of the game and you can see two minutes before the game was about to end he picked up a penalty and he actually does make it 3-2. So it was going to be a really, really difficult like last few minutes. But luckily enough, we managed to hold on and actually uh, win this game. So uh, that is how the game managed end up winning 3-2. We move on into the second game where we come against a full Portsmouth side. And guess what? This guy was also a subscriber at least. Uh, he messaged me after the game. So I assume he was a subscriber. And uh, he had a full Portsmouth team. And usually I tend to like play really really bad against full teams like full club teams I mentioned that before uh, last year as well during FIFA 15 for some reason I just have a hard time playing against him and this guy was definitely a really really good player I think he definitely was like a division one player or something at least that's what I kind of kind of felt when I played against him because his play style was really really good he was very patient and he just knew how to play the game so it was going to be a really tough one we both end up creating a couple of chances but it was mainly just kind of a midfield battle I guess uh, in the second half and the majority of his players kind of dropped down in fitness we uh, we got some pretty big chances especially with Mastur unfortunately his goalkeeper was seriously on steroids that game 
he, uh, he saved most of the shots, which was uh, pretty disappointing. But uh, towards the end of the game, we managed to get a really nice shot in there with Nzogbia. And we find the top corner. Really nice finish, making it 1-0 for us really late in the game. Then at the 85th minute, my opponent managed to pick up a uh, free kick as well. He played out really, really nicely. I did not really expect him to do that, to be honest. And I was actually really, really close conceding uh, the 1-1. But a uh, good save for my goalkeeper. And that is how the game ended. Uh, you can see it stats-wise as well. It was very, very close. We almost had even shots, or at least shots on target and even possession as well. But uh, luckily enough, we ended up winning that game. And that means we uh, we got the second win uh, with the uh, Mastur skill squad. So uh, we got a pretty nice start to the series. Then we move into the third and final game of the episode. And we almost come up against a full Celtic side uh, not really the greatest team but uh, once again just like in the previous game we ended up playing against a pretty good opponent and after seven minutes he got himself the first chance luckily enough for us though it was offside so that goal uh, was uh, was not allowed but then like roughly one minute later or so he went on a dribble there with uh, with Johansson and uh, he does make it 1-0 so uh, shortly after that offside goal he got himself the lead anyway then a few minutes later he got himself another big chance don't really know why my defenders were for it so much um, he took a shot really early though which I didn't really understand I think if he went through he probably would have made it 2-0 but again we uh, we got pretty lucky there so not really the greatest start to this game anyway uh, we got a chance uh, some sort of a volley with Mastur it would have been nice if we scored that because then we uh, we would have uh, completed a challenge but uh, 38th minute we managed to go on a nice run there with Tigre a good shot as well a really nice save from his goalkeeper and from that point we created a lot more chances especially towards the uh, end of the first half it was us getting uh, dominating and you can see right there 41st minute we cut in with Tigre Wini and we pick up a penalty it was a clear penalty as well because you can clearly see from the replay that, uh, that he fouled me so uh, we step off it with Mastur and we obviously put it into the back of the net to pick up his second goal in total and uh, obviously get us back into the game then uh, we're still in the first half we got a nice uh, chance there with Obiang I first thought we maybe could have picked up another penalty there unfortunately the referee decided to let it go but then uh, a couple of seconds later we actually picked up a free kick and uh, of course this was also a challenge we need to complete so we step off it with Nzogbia and we unfortunately hit the crossbar it was really really close uh, getting that one into the top corner but I think his, his goal goalkeeper just saved it uh, before it hit the crossbar then in the second half a beautiful pass from a goalkeeper to Tika Dewini with an amazing first touch as well was hoping to maybe finish off with a skill run but you can see from the rebound sort of is actually uh, Obiang who does make it 2-1 and actually gives us a lead in this game and we continue on a pretty nice skill run there from Inaki Williams uh, we go for a shot across goal but it just went wide the post could have been the second skill goal if we actually managed to put that one into the back of the net then uh, towards the end of the second half I decide to make some changes uh, bring on Fernandinho you can see right there it goes in a little skill run from a corner we go for a volley unfortunately that one went wide as well so we definitely had some big chances to extend the lead for us but then in the 89th minute we picked up another penalty and I actually decided to sub off Mastur uh, like a few minutes before that when I subbed on Fernandinho so it was Williams who actually does step up for it we go to start the penalty and we do make it 3-1 to make it game over and uh, that is also how the game ended uh, as I mentioned unfortunately I made a sort of a mistake with subbing off uh, Mastur because if we actually still had him on we, uh, we probably could have uh, completed our challenge with him but hopefully we can do that in the next episode anyway we're gonna move it to the skillers up you can see right there we currently have scored uh, two goals with Mastur and uh, we do have uh, 12 games left as well in order to complete all the challenges with him we haven't completed any so far but hopefully in the next episode we're able to do that and uh, obviously then uh, move on to the next five star skiller but anyway guys that's gonna be the end hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated so I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye, -bye.